Now, James Corden of Gavin and Stacey fame has spoken at, about uh, the teasing he experienced as a schoolboy because his middle name is Kimberly. <laughs> Don't laugh, that's mean. <laughs> <laughs> he said, literally every uh, man in my family has it. It is a tradition. For ages I pretended it was Carl, but my sister was going out with one of my mates and told him, and then he told oh. the whole school. Oh. <gasps> Shame on you, sister, for giving the game away. So teasing, teasing, it is something that happens to most of us at school, isn't it? Mm. But is it something, do you think, stays with you? Do you remember being teased or names you got called? And does it go right through into your adult life? Well, you know, the worst thing for me was, being teased, was at PE time. Do you remember PE time at school? Mm. And those blue knickers. Mm. And having to, you know, blue knickers, a little vest. And, and then having to, and thinking that you're going to go out onto a field and play sports but the worst thing is then coming back and having to see that shower turn on it makes me go cold now to think that you had to take clothes off in front of people well, were you very shy? you're making it sound like you were in psycho i know but it wasn't <laughs> because i haven't got colleen's assets and i didn't have them then i had nothing and and all the other girls have got bras and i haven't got a bra i know i've got a liberty bodice <laughs> The mick out of you for that. Well, yeah, I mean, but did also they because you? I did get sort of um, a bit dramatic about it, no. which is unlike me no. at all. But <laughs> I mean, I used to write notes myself and say, you know, Sherry's been sick all night or been in a in a train accident, and, <laughs> but so I was there. Just mean, yes. Has that affected you, Sherry? In you know, in all your life now, are you still body conscious? And... I do. You know, I, when I was thinking about it the other day, I thought, well, I wonder if that's made me body conscious because. I was really, it was awful, and the teachers would say, just get your clothes off and get out on that field. And I used to go, oh, please, God, something, God, let the school yeah. blow up. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, honestly, and they used to make you, you see, then. It was, you had no excuse. Did you get teased being at sick school on the floor, which I did. Um, I got teased, actually, at school about my name. Did you? At primary school, yeah, because um, I went to primary school in Blackpool, and Colleen is a very Irish name, and just nobody... Absolutely nobody I knew had ever heard of it or had that name. So every time they said my name, they'd go, well, it's a boy's name, Colin. So I used to get called Colin. Ha, ha, ha. Um, which, you know, now is, is ridiculous and it doesn't bother me now. And, and also people pronounce it wrong, they always say clean. So it used clean. To be clean, and it's gone, clean, no, not no. really. I stink, actually. Um, so it doesn't bother me now, but I remember when I was younger, it really, really used to embarrass me and really bothered me. And, and when anyone I didn't know asked me my name, I used to go, oh, yeah, Tracy. Or <laughs> Tracy or Joanne. Or did just you? an absolute normal name, and I was always a hairdresser and did you when I was older. Did you notice and I was a teenager. Because did the fact that they thought I had a boy's name, and then they'd go, what are you doing? I'd go, I sing I with my family. <laughs> so I'd go, my name's Tracy, I'm a hairdresser. Did you notice it more, did you notice it more with boys? Would you be embarrassed to tell boys your name? Because they'd go, Colin? Ooh. Yeah, boys, especially boys I fancied, because if they went Colin, I'd feel such an idiot. Yeah. Um, but then as, when I got older, and obviously a bit more mature, I liked the fact that it was different. But I'm, I was really aware then, and that's why I get angry, when um, pop stars or whatever call their kids by ridiculous names because mm. kids haven't changed that much. If no. you go to school with a ridiculous name, you're going to get teased. You and I remember in, that all you? through my school life. Well, when I, I called so Keely, Keely, because that's Irish. Yeah. Well, the first name I was going to call was Lark. And everybody went, oh, everybody will tease her. I'm so pleased I'm, you didn't. Oh, really? But it's a Victorian name, or Tallulah. Well, Tallulah is all right. Tallulah's, yeah, quite Tallulah's trendy my friend's name. I quite like Tallulah. Yeah, but don't, don't you like Lark? Lark? I hate like... to be called Lark or Tallulah. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to think when you're older, so what's your name? You know what? At 45, Tallulah. Oh. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. I quite like that. Like Frank Zappa won that no moon one in the audience Zappa. called Lark. I, I certainly didn't get called Tallulah. I got called Wingnut. Wingnut. Oh. You can't look. Wingnut, look. Oh, yeah, and they go, see. call a taxi. <laughs> all the taxi, the doors are open, all that. That's just, Aww. and that was just my best friend. And but are I got, you still see, affected I've got, by that? No, I'm not affected at all. You are, <laughs> well, because no, I've I never am. seen you with your hair No, on. I am quite self-conscious about it. I've got my, the Langsford lugs, as I call it, because my dad's got them, all mm. the Langsford men, and then I got them. My sister got my mum's little lovely shell likes. And I am, I'm, I'm already thinking about the wedding. How am I going to wear my hair? I'd like to wear it up, 
but you know, I go, oh, I'm a bit self-conscious about them. And it's one of those things, people go, they don't stick out. And I go, they do look. And then people go, oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> like you all did. We all yeah. went. And then oh, yeah. our, our esteemed editor, when we were leaving the meeting, she went, come on, wingnut. I went, you see? You see? That's what happens. I, I tell you something, and then you tease line. me. I think there's a, there's a difference, isn't there, I think, anyway, between... I mean, proper full-on bullying, which is which is abhorrent, yeah, yes, and, and sort of teasing. But even in light-hearted ways, it can it can sort of can sort of stay with you. I didn't. I mean, I always feel really blessed that I never had any proper proper bullying because if I hear bullying stories or see it, I just can't. It really really affects yeah. me. Yeah. So protective oh, as we as we all of our children. So I didn't really have anything horrible. My my grandfather's family were in confectionery, so they used to call me truly scrumptious when I was at That's school. Nice. That's quite so nice. That was all right. Yeah. But then, and then my sister and I had these brown anoraks, and they used to sort of say, "Oh, here come toffee." Anoraks anoraks and everything but but my, my main thing was that for some reason my mother obviously clearly wanted a boy and um, and I mean I'm sort of joking but I do feel that um, before I was 11 I was a boy and if you see the photographic evidence you, you can relate to this a little bit my mother honestly for some reason did just put that basin on it like and that. cut it yeah, around it around and boyish thing. features and I was called Denise so people thought I was called Dennis like Dennis and Colin you know like um, and, it, and honestly, I would, and I would, and I would go to Crossroads. My mum would send me to McConville's and McAvoy's, this shop at the end of the road, and they had to watch for me to come across the road and everything. And every single day, someone used to go, "Do you want to be hand across the road, Sonny?" Oh. <laughs> All the time. And I can remember going to Zone 22 Disco behind mm. the ice rink at Whitley Bay. And, um, and my mother suggested that I wore this blue shirt with, like, a cravat with this ridiculous hair. And, and people go to me, "Are you a lad or a lass?" I was going, "I'm a lass." <laughs> oh, God! Oh, what you could do for your wedding is make a feature of your ears and have yes. Eamon and Ruth. Yes. <laughs> the, the light up. The light up. The light up. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Good idea. So from Colin and Dennis here and the rest of us, <laughs> that's the end of that one. Not that I'm going to tease you about it at all, yeah. girls. OK, we're taking...